We are here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and we're about to check out the Mitchell Park domes. Let's see what this glass beehive looking domes are. Let's go. Today, we're taking on a road trip to one of the most beautiful spots in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the Mitchell Park domes. The Mitchell Park domes are a series of three glass domes that house a wide variety of plants and flowers from all over the world. We'll be exploring the tropical dome, the desert dome, and the floral show dome. Get ready to see some stunning display of nature. So sit back, relax, and join us on this exciting journey as we discover the beauty of Mitchell Park domes in Milwaukee. Welcome back, Grand Crew. You have Carl here. If you're not familiar with our channel, we're a family travel vlog. We love to go to local spots, tour attractions, and weird and wacky places. Look at these bunch of domes. Let's take a closer look how these dome glasses look. Oh, wow. Look at that. It looks pretty thick. And it looks like it's reinforced with some like metal things inside. Betcha it gets hot in there. When we got there, I was really surprised that the tickets were actually cheaper than going to the movies. It was $9 for adults and $6 for a kid. We're going to head down to the Tropical Dome first. Whew. Tropical Dome. I feel like it's a sauna. Oh, that's why it's so hot. Look at this. It's 80 degrees. Right when you get in here, you'll notice the steamy rainforest. But what's great is, you really transport yourself to another world. As you explore the jungle, you can look for cocoa beans, cocoa pods, bananas, and even sausage fruit. And one thing that's really great is, there's 1,200 species of plants in this particular dome. I like how you can come here and check out all the plants without having to worry about animals trying to eat you. <laughs> oh, look at that bug! That mosquito would hurt if it got you. Whoa, the koi fish are huge. And look at that orange one. Look at that big giant frog. Whoa. It's a sculpture. It's crazy how we're like in the middle of a dome right now. I'm guessing this is the giant humidifier. <laughs> Keeps it humid in here, mostly. Sugarcane. Didn't you used to eat that? Yeah, in the Philippines. There would be these vendors uh, in their carts. They would be selling sugar cane, and I would be so happy to go through. Similar to how people do it for the ice cream man. Oh, look at that. Orchids. After walking the loop, it was time to go to the second dome. But first... What does this do? Carnivorous plants. They eat insects or um, small animals, like a pitcher plant. That thing there, the little... Looks How like a little pitcher. Eat? It fills up with uh, water, like rainwater, and then it drowns the whatever falls in there, and then the plant uh, digests it. Dude, nature is crazy. We are going to the show dome. It's much nicer and cooler over here. We have gone to Milwaukee so many times and never knew these domes existed. So it was great when somebody recommended it. Actually, several people recommended it after our Milwaukee trip last time. So that's why we're here. Our next dome is the Floral Show Dome. So what's neat about this one, it always changes. So five times a year, the Floral Show Dome transforms with unique themed floral shows. As you can see, right now is the annual train show. But other things you'll see are spring flowers and a popular holiday show. Oh, there is Thomas the Train right there. Oh, they do move. <laughs> what is this? Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Whoa. Good job. How did you know all those? She learned it in school. That's really good. Yeah, sorry guys. No Pluto. And right here, you can really see how big these beehive-shaped domes are. Oh man, Rosalie's favorite. 
It's a tangerine tree. Tangerine? Did you did you know tangerines grow on trees? It's a citrus fruit, like oranges. Yeah, I would say this place is pretty cool for a family because it's not so big where the little kids start whining about how they're so tired and there's so much things to look at. Oh yeah, for sure. Before we go to our last dome, we're gonna get some postcards for our Patreons. For $3 a month, we'll send you postcards to your house signed by our family. All you have to do is click the link in the description below. Desert Dome. Desert Dome. Just think you were in the desert. Oh, the door opened. Just think you were in the desert. We're in the desert. Months ago, when you were in Arizona. Hey. Yeah. 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 This reminds me of our Arizona trip. The only thing we're missing is my poncho. <laughs> People did like Poncho Carl series. And our third and final dome is the Desert Dome. So here you get to explore the deserts of Africa, Madagascar, South America, and North America. Something we discovered during our Arizona trip, the desert can be very beautiful. So here you can snap a selfie by a giant cacti, look for some agave, and meet Steve. That's the resident bearded dragon. Looks like the family found something here. We what? found Steve. Yeah. Oh, Steve! His name, he's a bearded dragon from uh, uh, from Australia. Look at that, he likes the rocks, huh? Yep, and he likes to sit under his heat lamp because he likes his body temperature to be 95 degrees or higher. So being here, and being right here in the dome, it reminds me of the Tupac Dr. Dre video. So what we have here is the Dungeons of Australia, so it's not just stuff here in the United States. All right, Rosie, stand over here. Let's see who's taller. You or the cactus? Let me see. Ah, oh, yeah, I think the cactus is a little bit taller. I'm almost that high. You're almost that tall, you're right. But you're the same height. Yeah, I'm the same height, yeah. Daddy stopped growing a long time ago. These are from South America. What are those? These are South American desert uh, plants. That's a dog tail cactus. They look like little dog tails. They do look like dog tails. Whoa, look at these cactuses. Wow. This wouldn't hurt if you fell into this guy. Especially during the winter time. If you have a family and you just want to check out somewhere a little bit different, teach your kids about different types of plants from all over the world, this is really a good place to do it at. And the best part, it's nice and warm. If you're looking for additional ideas on what to do in Milwaukee, click the end card video right here.